You guys, I'm doing something super fun today. Uh, you guys, I've told you before that I've been obsessed with art since, um, what, two years old? Um, when I learned to paint and draw. And I am about to head to the Hirshhorn Museum with my girlfriend, Aria, because they have a new exhibit there. That's the Basquiat and Banksy exhibit. You guys might have heard about it if you live in DC. You might have heard about it even if you don't live in DC. It's exciting. These are huge. This is this is huge, okay? It's really huge. So we are on our way there. I'm gonna go scoop her in Uber and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Yeah, I need to stretch. Alright, which way are we going in? Oh, it says well here's the thing. It's there's a sign. Yeah, it's is it? I feel like we did this last time. Oh, okay. <laughs> then we're going. Oh, but look, there's an arrow here, too, so, yeah. I know, so, we are so excited. I put Aria on camera, but she hates it, so I'm not. <laughs> Just a quick hello. I'll do it for you. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the Hirshhorn, if you guys have never been. And there's normally a fountain here, isn't it? Um, yeah. It doesn't look like there's a long line. I don't know what's going on. Why are people not going crazy right now? And I'm thankful that they're not. This might be way more enjoyable. All right, here we go. We're about to go through security. Okay, so which way do we go? I think it's this way. It said level one. Yeah, but I don't know. Exhibition, illusions. Is, do they count the levels from the top down? Huh. We're searching for the exhibit. Searching, searching, searching. Oh, that's the exit there. Oh, there's a whole nother. We never even knew that. How do we never know that? Maybe it was closed off when we were here last. <sighs> Exciting. And we're walking past the Capitol. There it is right there. Oh wait, I'm taking it out of frame now. Hold on. We're actually pretty close to it, but I can't really see. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All the stuff that we take for granted being Washingtonians. But yeah. Oh, and there's the monument right on the other side. <laughs> yeah. That's the Hirshhorn from outside. If you've not been to DC before, you should come visit us. So, Guess where we're going for lunch? We're going to the Waldorf Astoria. I said, because of my list with my invisible line, I said Historia. The Waldorf Astoria. That's where we're going for lunch. That's why not. All Aria's idea. Awesome.
So I decided to be bad and order a Bloody Mary and it came with a peacock feather. How pretty is that? Yay. Oh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> the restaurant's called Peacock Alley. <laughs> so I'm back home and I pick up my Basquiat book and I got this book on Amazon. It's a really good book. It's really thick, but this one's smaller. And actually, I think Arya has a bigger one. But this has, I mean, he has hundreds and hundreds of paintings. But look what I found. Here on page 196, here is, it's called Boy and Dog in a Johnny Pump. And this was in 1982. So, I, so literally, this painting is almost as old as I am. And... This is the painting that we saw on display. I had no clue that it was so big. That painting was bigger than most walls. Like that painting had to be at least like 9 by 16. Well, no, here. It tells us. Okay, I don't do math, but you guys can figure out how many feet that thing is. But it's huge. It's really big. And, um, yeah, it's just so cool to see. But you should get this book if you are a Basquiat fan or an art lover. Um, there's a rare picture with his head shaved. That's interesting. Um, but there's so many paintings. He's done so much work. He used to do a lot and his paintings have a lot of meaning. You guys may have heard about him, um, around the time. Look at all of that. Oh, I would live to see this exhibit, but you may have heard about him when, uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z did the Tiffany campaign because there was a lost painting that they found that was like millions and millions and millions of dollars. But this is the one that we saw which was just incredible to see it to scale. Um, yeah, it's just, if you don't know anything about him, I mean, you probably do because he's hella famous. Um, as far as definitely like more of a modern art artist, although this was like the 80s. Look at this. And he was beautiful too. God, gone too soon. He died really young, I think in his 20s. So yeah, get this book. It's a really cool book. Um, Basquiat. I've had this before. They also sell it at the Hirshhorn. So if you don't have it, you can get it there. But I think mine is thicker than the one they have there because this one's, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, there you go. Basquiat. So I wanted to close this video off by saying the exhibit was very small. As you saw, we got through it in like record time. It was not packed. Um, and it was only two very large paintings and a few little small things, maybe like 10 or 12 little small things there, um, that were like sketches or something that they just found or found objects, unidentified objects is what they call them. Um, untitled objects is what they called them. Um, but just because it was a small exhibit does not mean that you should not go see it anyway. You should definitely go see the exhibit um, just because it's a part of history. And if you are an art lover, um, you will definitely love it also. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Um, if you live in DC or you're visiting DC, go see the Hirshhorn Museum and um, check out the Banksy Basquiat uh, exhibit. All right. And, um, great lunch, by the way, um, at, um, the Waldorf Astoria. Um, we had the pizza I had Bloody Mary, great conversation, great atmosphere. Should drop by there also. I love you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. All right. Bye.
Thank you.